I have a testimony. On campus, we began to pray. The prayer lasted for two academic sessions. That's four semesters. And as we were praying every day, even on exam days, the prophecies began to come that God wanted to send a revival. We started seeing those things, those people crying, coming. People, all kinds, we started seeing that. Then we started seeing miracles, healings. Even someone that gave his life to Christ yesterday, God baptized the Holy Ghost today, began to prophesy today. And the prophecies were not just, I am in your midst, I am in your midst. Very deep prophecies. You will see people get born again today and they start ministry today. Evangelism. You will see all kinds of things. That was how it began to happen on campus. I mean, these guys were talking about people who were preaching to were, were cultists, were terrible people. They were giving their life to Christ and then in the night on the tennis court where we were doing Holy Ghost bartending because people come there to drink Holy Ghost. You know, just like people in the US, people go to the bar and say, give me a shot of wine. I was the man behind the counter serving Holy Ghost to people. To cultists. Some, some kind of Holy Ghost that even runs the stomach. When you do... I was one of the bartenders. And this thing continued. There was the Capone of Black Axe then was Jadon. Jadon. They poisoned him somewhere. I don't know where they poisoned him. He when they brought him to campus, they take me to pastor's room. It was my room that they brought. When I interrogated him after he said we die, I say you won't die. You won't die. You won't die. He now revived. And I said, Pastor, my mother is deeper life. I didn't ask him. I didn't. I didn't. His mother is deeper life, and he was Jadon. I don't know what glory came on me that time, but common room was place for smoking. When I come to common room, people hide their secret. Am I their father? people could not smoke where I was and that was my own testimony other people too had testimonies of how their presence brought conviction all kinds of things began to happen on campus it happened it happened intensely for one semester before we came the next semester Ezemo had raised altars that and there was this great division among us we could not sustain it. The thing was still happening that semester, but the problem was we were immature. So why were you the one that led the prayer? Is it that you felt, ah, I will not go into details, but I saw revival. I saw revival. I saw people in the hostel that died, that we prayed for, that they came back to life. Not because we, we had, we were not We prayed for them. They came back to life. There was one guy who fell on the steps and they brought him to my room. I said, put him on my bed. The guy stood up. And those things happened consistently. I don't know where that anointing went, but it was there that time. He dead. No, that's what we come back. I know meetings we went for. Holy Spirit say, You know the way you worship me, just raise your hand. And we came down that power and could not stand up. Wait, there were detailed prophecies that were spoken that time 25 years into the future. When we go for night vigil, we don't know when we'll stop. From 7 o'clock to 7 o'clock before the Holy Ghost will go. The Holy Spirit used to walk into our midst like a man, a human being. God was not concealed. We saw him many times. I 
And when the revival was about to go, I was praying in technical block by 5 a.m. He came and hugged me and left. But he told me, I will come again. He hugged me. Jesus was a human being that was walking. He hugged me at technical. I said, I will come back. Okay. The signs I have seen, he wants to come back. Early when I was posted here in my, in my sitting room, he came and said, you know why he can't come back? He showed me Jatoka, showed me an altar there, showed me two other places. It is, this blood. He came to my sitting room there. He hugged me before he left. I've seen him in my visions. Come back. But today, you will receive fire. <laughs> can, anywhere you are, standing, sitting, you can ask him for fire. He walked in our midst. There was a sense of blazing holiness. Everyone was afraid, afraid of his presence. sit down listen he told me he will come he gave me six signs of what will happen in the city of Makodi before he comes the last five of them have come to pass I used to announce it here five of them, many more and this is a season for the sixth one to come to peace. So he said we should announce a revival. Proclaim it. And when we proclaim it, he will begin to come. So what I want to do is just to remind him of what he said many years ago. Then I hand over the mic. 
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we have waited for 16 years.